Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today, together, we are going to make this photo manipulation step by step. Keep watching. See you after the intro. Okay, so before we start, I want to mention that I included in the description the links for my social media which is Instagram. Lately I shrink down my social media to be only on Instagram and YouTube and also the Behance link you will find it all in the description. So kindly please follow me to be in touch in all my platforms. Okay, without any further ado let's start our design. First of all we will bring this background here. While holding Alt and Shift, drag from the corner, like so, until it fits the canvas. Then add a new layer mask and drag and bring your brush, make it a little bit bigger, and remove the sky from here. We will replace it with another sky. Doesn't have to be very perfect. We will edit all this later. As you already know, we can remove this and put this into a group and call this, rename it BG or background. Okay, then we can bring our sky here. We can put it under this one inside the same group and see how we can move it around until we found the perfect spot maybe like so it's okay but I want this to be visible I can go to this one control T control 0 to fit the canvas and bring this down just a touch like so I think that's better. See these edges here? You can go back to the mask of this layer and bring your brush and with the black color selected, remove those edges like so. Okay, now let's bring our layer and open it in a separate document ok for the selection you can use any selection method I guess maybe we can try this put this on a white background any selection method you like then we can go inside select and mask and with the refined edge selected Try to refine your edges like so. I guess now it's much better. Then make sure it says new layer with layer mask. Then press OK. Now we have this here. We can drag this with the move tool to our canvas like so and control or maybe before this let's make it control T make it a little bit smaller while holding Alt and Shift maybe like so and then right click flip horizontal okay now see we have these white edges go to the mask with your brush selected B make it a little bit smaller and remove the unwanted boards from here and there okay 
first thing I want to do is while hold while clicking on the mask itself I will go to filter other and minimum make it minimum with one pixel or two pixels let's see two no I think two is too much only one pixel okay this removes all the white edges we had before okay then I will put this in a group and rename it there because we will have so many layers inside this pair layer okay first let's see the size if we needed this size or I think maybe we can reduce it just a touch control T to grab the transformation and reduce it just a touch like so I guess now it's better and we can move it here and a little bit up to match the perspective I guess now it's better okay first thing I want to do is I want to take a copy of this layer and with the under one I will double click on it and make color overlay black select black if it isn't black in your file then with the move tool nudge it down a little bit and so you see these edges down this will be our contact shadow for this layer okay but we don't need these black edges in the upper side so I will close this one and here with this layer I will bring my brush make it a little bit bigger and remove this area I need only the other area only okay let's see now yes we need only these areas down okay but I can't leave it like this with this layer selected I will go to filter blur Gaussian blur and let's see how much blur we can give it I'm guessing like this is okay then I'll go to the mask and fix these issues we have here okay now I think it's better see before after before after now we need the contact shadow the first shadow in this layer okay then the second thing we want to do is maybe on top of this or first let's make another copy of this and then right click on the layer and convert to smart object and also double click on the layer and have a color overlay with the black color also selected ok control T sorry control T and while holding control drag this one to be in this direction then bring it up like here like so and also try to adjust those until we think it fits the best doesn't have to be perfect it will be blurred but still because the lighting will be coming from this direction I will put the sun here that's why I needed this light here this source of light here to add the sun here and make all the lighting coming from this side so the shadow must be in this side okay now I can go to filter blur motion blur and make it in this direction in this direction maybe minus 32 and give it a sort of blur like so maybe 48 is okay then 
go again to filter blur Gaussian blur this time and try to see how it fits the best I guess 48 is ok 49 and change the blending mode to multiply and bring down the opacity to around I guess around 50 maybe a little bit darker Sixty-eight is okay for now. We will see how we will adjust it later. Okay. On top of this layer, the first layer, we will add a new layer and clip it to affect this layer only while holding Alt. This clips it. Then bring our brush and paint some blacks in the down in the down area. This will affect only the downside of the layer. Of course it's too strong now, we will change the blending mode to multiply and reduce the opacity to around 34, I guess is okay, see before and after, it makes an effect. The thing about manipulation is you add more layers to add more effects, small effects, small effects on top of each other, they make the whole image. Okay, I will add another one and also clip it this time I've been to this side because the Sun as you see or the light will be coming from this left side so the right side must be darker from the left side just bending here general bending and changing the blending mode to multiply and reduce the opacity also to around 44 I guess is okay and also we can always come back and edit later okay on top of this one i want to add uh, no not new layer sorry new adjustment layer levels clip it and bring the lightness very much higher like so and then go to the mask and control i to invert it now we delete what we made and rename this burn and make another one on top of it adjustment layer curves clip it and bring this down this time we want to bring it down very much and also do the same control i this will remove the effect and rename this as a uh, dodge so this will be our dodge and burn layers then we can go inside the mask sorry inside the mask of the burn layer and with your brush selected maybe we can reduce the opacity and the flow let's see if this will be okay or no first we will try maybe we can resize the, the brush a little bit we will try to add some shadows here in this area just painting shadows maybe we can make the opacity a little more hmm, yes i have to flip it with the white colors and the diode saying why it's not working this is the burn layer yes sorry this is the dodge layer on the dodge layer yes we want to add some parts here. Here. see how the light will be behaving add some darks here in these areas inside this must be darker this must be darker here down in this area maybe we can make the brush a little bigger i know this the effect now is much stronger but we will 
is it this later? So this area not will be darker. This area inside down. This will be darker. Then we can go inside this and nudge it up a little bit to make the effect a little better. See this is the before, this is the after, it gives it a more 3D look. We will do the same in the burn area for the bright side. And here this must be brighter and this also, these edges, here, this edge, this edge, and this edge also. Here also. This edge will be affected by the light. This edge here. We can make it. Sorry. Here on this edge. On this edge. This that will be hit by the lightning. I see. See before, after, before and after. And of course, it's too strong. We can always go back here and reduce the amount of lightning, like so. Okay. So this is before dodging and burning. On top of this. We will add a new hue saturation layer this time and hit colorize, clip it to affect only the pair and have some sort of a warm yellow or orangish color. Let's see, I guess this one is okay. I know now it's too ugly. We will do the same, invert the mask while holding Ctrl I. And we will add some of it, bring back some of it here with the white color selected on the mask. We will add some yellows here on these sides. Why we do this, I will tell you just now. Yeah. In the same areas that will be hit by the light, on this side this side also and if the effect is too strong we will always come back and reduce it we can toggle with the X and remove some of the edges to make it more softer Okay, this is before adding these trim lights and this is after okay on top of everything I want to add a color balance layer and add some also a clip bit to affect the beer and add some uh, red and some yellows to the overall image okay let's close the beer right now and adjust the colors in the background in this field or the grass on top of it I will add a new curves adjustment layer first clip it and reduce the lightning just a touch like so and also from here then I will also add color balance layer clip it add yellows and reds to the scene the whole scene will be reddish and yellowish okay in the sky also I'll do the same and add color balance layer 
flipped a yellow a red and yellow to the sink okay maybe on top of this uh, field layer I can add a gradient black to transparent like so and then also clip it and reduce the opacity see before and after okay then maybe between those two layers on top of here I will add a new layer sorry one layer and with my brush selected I will select any of these white colors here and make the brush a little bit brighter and add some sort of horizon line here Maybe let's bring the flow up and also the opacity and add some colors to the horizon like so and let's see which blend mode sits I guess over gray is better and reduce the opacity a little bit okay now on top of everything on top of the rear and the background I can go and bring my sun here Okay, first change the blending mode to screen and move it to around here make it a little bit smaller maybe like so okay then go to the filter blur this time radial blur change best quality and the amount let's try 40 41 and let's see the output okay see now it's much better and those rain lights or the colors I added here because of the effect of this sun before the sun was here it was on but after we added the sun now it makes sense so this is the sun okay what else can we do time to bring this tree here resize it This will be here in the horizon. Make it a little bit smaller. I added this tree to give you a sort of feeling that this bear is kind of big. This makes the balance. Our bear here is much bigger than the other one. Maybe we can reduce it. On top of the tree, add curves adjustment layer, clip it, and reduce the lighting. The low lighting, make it much darker, and then I'll make a copy of the tree layer itself. Put the under on, double click. Color overlay black, okay. Control T while holding control, drag this. I will put its shadow 
to be right here and distort it a little bit because the lighting is coming from here this side so the shadow must be in this direction not in this direction the bear is going from this direction because the sun is here but this one the sun is coming from this direction so the shadow must be here or maybe more okay then move it up a little bit just like this so it's okay then we will go to filter blur motion blur make it in this direction and reduce it to around 27 and then filter blur Gaussian blur this time it was too much this and reducing 6.2 okay on top of the tree we will add also a new layer clip it with the black brush select it I can bring it on this side to make it darker and then change the blending mode to multiply and reduce it a little bit and also we'll add a new view saturation layer flip it, colorize and have a warm color like we did with the beer then invert the mask control I and with the brush white color selected bring back some of the lightness here on this side see the before and after okay so this is our tree okay what else can we add to this scene maybe we can move the tree or make it a little bit smaller I guess it needs to be a little bit smaller Yeah, like this is like this now it's better we can add some birds and air balloons here we have this air balloon it's a png file we can add it here make it much smaller let's go and put one up here and another one copy and hold it out drag control t make it much smaller and for both of them you can reduce the opacity to give it some sort of depth as if it is further away and also this one will reduce the velocity but not with the same amount the more far away the more faded it must be okay now it's time to bring the birds i have two birds two, two groups of birds here also png i will add all these pictures in the description maybe use those and bring them up here and the other group of birds somewhere around here okay what else can we do maybe we can bring some particles here this was fire but we can use it anyway first we bring, change the blending mode to screen then obviously it's too big we can bring it down or even better we can mm, let's see okay let's blur it first filter blur Gaussian blur give it some sort of blur I guess like this is okay then 
we can add a mask to it and on this mask control i to invert it and then with your brush selected white brush selected make it a little bit bigger then bring back some of these areas like only we need it in the down areas only like so maybe a touch here and a touch there not so much and also we can reduce the opacity of the roll like so okay now it's time for the final touches on top of everything i will add a new gradient map choose this one from the legacy gradients and change the blending mode to multiply and reduce the opacity to I guess 30 is okay see before after before and after now it's starting to look as if it is one scene on top of this we can or we cannot let's see we will check together we can add a color balance layer and also add some reds and yellows to this scene yeah i think now it's much better so it's all trial and error In this stage i cannot tell you what to do and what not to do you try find it okay okay or no so this is the color layer and now it's time to control shift alt e to merge everything together and first i want i would like to make it right click convert to smart object so we can edit anything we want later filter our beloved camera row filters You can add some yellows to the scene or maybe not exposure let's see maybe a little bit of exposure contrast I would like to make it higher and add some shadows to the scene to make it a little bit darker and maybe reduce the highlights a little bit and the texture maybe we can add some texture and clarity to the scene if you want it green you can remove the clarity if you want it maybe i guess i will add some and i need to remove some of the vibrance because i think it's too much saturated in this case then in the fx tab i want to add some i love to add it to the scenes okay see now before and after i guess it's much better now and one more trick we can add maybe we can add a new control shift alt e of this one after these edits and make it right click and also convert it to smart object go to the filter blur gaussian blur and give it a higher amount of blur like so okay then make a mask for this layer invert the mask control i everything is gone now then with your brush selected make it a little bit bigger and bend some blur to the areas you need it to be blur with the edges like so And if it is too much and it is too much you can bring down the opacity to reduce it and that's it for today thank you very much for watching